Monitoring Mauna Loa for any changes tonight, and you may have felt them today. Earthquakes all day long on the Big Island. Two medium-sized earthquakes were detected today, and some scientists say there may be more. KITV 4's Shanila Kabir has more. Mauna Loa is known to be the largest active volcano in the world. Officials say they can't pinpoint an exact time, but they are anticipating a potential eruption. Geologist Frank Trustel said scientists detected 49 small earthquakes under the volcano Friday afternoon. Half of the eruptions stayed in the summit. That means it did not go down onto the flanks where people live to impact them. A quarter of the eruptions have gone down the Northeast Drift Zone towards Hilo, and the small percentage of eruptions have worked their way down slope into populated areas. His message is watch for summit phases. Summit phases look like straight cracks spewing lava from the ground, and those are the first signs before an eruption. Trustel says Mauna Loa erupted a total of 33 times, and all began with a summit phase. He said residents should know which direction they live from the volcano, and only consider evacuating after that type of activity. Mauna Loa is more likely to erupt out of periods of heightened unrest than it is when it's completely quiet. So that's why we want people that live, uh, you know, on the flanks to be aware that, you know, the possibility of a Mauna Loa eruption exists, um, but there's nothing imminent right at this moment. Hawaii County announced there is no tsunami threat to Hawaii Island. If you felt an earthquake in your area, you're advised to check for any structural damage, including utility connections to gas, water, and electricity. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News. Now, in the case of an eruption, this map provided by the U.S. Geological Survey shows the response times over the past 200 years after Mauna Loa erupted. The South Kona area would be the most affected immediately, with lava flows historically reaching some parts in a matter of three hours. With the increase in earthquake activity, officials at the Hawaii Volcano Observatory are asking residents to join them and the rest of the world on International Shakeout Day. At 1020 in the morning local time on October 20th, participants will be practicing earthquake safety drills for drop, cover, and hold on. Nearly 2 million people have registered to take part in the U.S., with 24,000 of them in Hawaii.